do it. Press hello, it. hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There you go. Oh, you guys have been so wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. I've already cried, sung along, clapped my hands, bopped my head. And um, yeah. So um, nine fingers was that his name? Yeah. That was really beautiful. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of. I've got a happy song, and of course I'm gonna start out with my breakup song because right. he really like got up here and explained why it's so important. Um, and uh, this song I wrote a long, long time ago. I was kind of a teenage mom. Everyone says I look so young now, but I'm, I'm 40. Um, and I was navigating life single and trying to make my way and learned that I needed to really just set my priorities where they needed to be. And uh, this song is called More to Lose. And 
I was talking to my husband, who I met at a blue lamp open mic night many, many years ago. So I don't sing breakup songs anymore. I might write some that sound like a breakup song, but they're not really, because I'm happily married. <laughs> and he went to Blue Lamp looking for, I don't know, a good time with music, maybe a girlfriend, but now he ended up with a wife and kids. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see here, I gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, music is so special and it's so important. Um, I actually ended up going um, back to school when I was 30 and I learned the harp and I studied with program to play music at the bedside. So I, uh, that is part of my job is bringing music to hospice and people in the hospital setting. Um, and it's, there is beauty in, in that ugly place and you know, music feels that the void instead of silence um, but anyway i am actually very happy go lucky and um the next song i'm going to play you is a happy go lucky sounding song but the inspiration came uh when my parents lost well my childhood home my parents lost their home in a wildfire in 2020 as if the year wasn't bad enough um, and they still had yellow linoleum and like pink bathtubs. Like it was, they built it in the 1970s. It was their custom dream home out in the country. And it was just surreal to see it gone. And so I went home and I did what any therapeutic musician would do. And I picked up my guitar and I, I wrote a song. And this is what came out. And I was reminiscing of what made my childhood so special and this is called my california
Sarah.